my name's Mike Robinson, we're in the kitchen at my pub, The Pot Kill. Now, in last month's article in the Food Monthly, I did roast partridge. Partridge is one of my all-time favourite game birds. Now, what we did then was French partridge, simply roasted, because roasting a game bird is a knack. It's not hard, but it has to be done right for the right period of time. Now, today I haven't got a partridge, I've got a grouse. Now, a grouse is one of our greatest birds. It's wild, it lives in the north of England and Scotland on the heather moors. It can't be farmed, it can't be bred, it's a truly special thing to eat. But the principle of cooking it is identical to a partridge, there's no difference. So, let's have a little look at our grouse. Okay, this bird's been plucked and drawn. With a grouse, traditionally, the legs are left on, it's a bit gruesome, I know. At this point, we just take those off. That's just so that we can see the bird's in good condition, there's no problems with it. So, down go the legs. Off they come at the joint. This is a young grouse, okay? A young grouse, very important, roasts better. Older grouse, I like to sort of cook them a bit slower. You have to be more careful with the young ones, very tender, very juicy. Now, it's quite a strong smelling game bird, very similar to an English partridge, actually, um, and has to be treated with some care. When we're roasting it, we like to open up the joints and the legs, like that. That allows the heat to get into the thighs and cook much quicker. We're going to season the bird, sprinkle it with salt and pepper, like that. Brilliant. I'm going to get a little bit of butter on the bird, like so. And I'm going to shove a little bit up it, like that. I'm going to take a little sprig of herb, thyme there, pop it inside. Nice flavour on the inside here. You mustn't mess around with grouse too much, it's such a wonderful flavour in its own right. Now, behind me, Put a pan on this very hot stove. I'm going to put a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter. You can see how hot that is. Our seasoned grouse. There we are. And now back on the heat for about a minute. What we're trying to do is just brown the bird. No more than that, just brown it. And as soon as that comes out off the pan, I'm going to get one of the guys to pop it into the oven for about 12 minutes, something like that. 12 minutes is all we need for a grouse. The key to it is resting. When you just put a piece of meat in a hot surface like that, if I took Dave, my chef here's hand, say hello Dave, come here, pass me your hand, this is very important. If I took his hand and I pushed it down onto a hot surface, okay, he'd knife me, punch me, but what would happen is the hand would close up like that, sorry about the scar, okay, and it instantly, it's this reaction. Now over time you feel you can relax, so the muscle fibers contract with the heat and then slowly as they relax, they open up. This is important because if you cut a freshly roasted piece of meat, the muscle fibers are under tension, all the juices will come spewing out because they'll be squeezed out like a sponge. Once the meat's relaxed and rested, the juices will be retained, it'll be pink, it'll be delicious, so the resting time is everything. Okay. Let's have a pair of tongs, chaps. And it's okay. Thank you. Have a play with this. A little bit more. Okay, I'm just going to throw a little spring of rosemary in there. Just put aromatics. A little bit more salt and pepper. That's lovely. Do we have a little bit of white wine there, um, guys? Yes, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right, now I like to put, thanks for that, a little bit of wine in the bottom of the pan. Keeps it moist while it's roasting. And now I'm going to ask Dave here yep. to go and put that in the oven. Yep. Thanks, Dave. Yep. And then we're going to come back in about 12 minutes' time, see how it's going, let it rest. While that's cooking, we're going to prepare all the garnish and the side dishes to go with our grouse.